Hello Cancer, welcome to my channel. My name is Isabel from the TarotEmpress.com. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I'm going to be doing your tarot card reading now. So, I'm going to begin first by mentioning some of the energies that I'm picking up from the tarot cards, okay? I'm seeing Leo, Taurus. I'm also seeing Scorpio. For some of you, you could be dealing with Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. I'm also seeing the water signs here, but... It's not as strong as the other star signs mentioned, okay? So, let's see. I'm noticing from the tarot card on the bottom of the deck that there was a breakup. Something happened. Something happened between you and this individual where the two of you may have fallen out, may have had an argument, may have had some sort of fight. Something may have happened, but it resulted in the end of something. Okay. Now, in terms of the energy of this individual, I feel like they're putting on a facade. They're trying to be as strong as possible during this period of time. So I feel like you could be looking at them and observing their nature through social media or whatever means of access that you have to this individual and they could have a very sunny disposition. For some of you, you could be working for this individual. For some individuals, this could be your boss or someone that is in a little bit of a higher position than you in this situation. That's one of the possibilities. This could be an older person as well, slightly older than you, someone who likes to take care of things, etc. When it comes to your energy, I'm noticing that you don't know what to do at this point. And you're trying to keep everything in balance. If you are married and you're trying to keep your marriage working, etc., then that could mean that you're trying to be very flexible. But it can also mean that, you know, you have choices when it comes to love. You might have someone else that is in the picture that you might be contemplating in terms of a relationship. So some of you could be married to another person, but meanwhile you are developing feelings for a different individual. One of the possibilities, keep an open mind. So I'm seeing from this particular card, there's some Libra energy coming across. I'm seeing that there's a need to have balance in the situation, especially in terms of this individual you're dealing with. When it comes to your energy, I'm picking up some very strong desire to have an individual that can either love you or be there for you in the way that you desire in a relationship. You're looking for a strong masculine energy. If you're a guy, you're looking for a feminine energy, etc. But what I'm picking up from the tarot cards is that 
You want to be taken care of. You want to be loved. You want to be nurtured. Now, the next cards are indicating to me that in this situation, this person is thinking about the fact that they are feeling very trapped and they're feeling frustrated about it. They want to break free out of that. So if you're dealing with someone who's married to another individual, then that could be feeling very annoying to you during this period of time. Remember, this applies to sun, moon and rising. So keep that in mind, you know, take the other person's components or cosmic components into light as well. So the next card is showing to me, yeah, I'm picking up the energy that you're dealing with a person. You might be dealing with a person that is feeling trapped in a marriage that is not happy and feeling frustrated about it. They could be thinking about divorce. And wanting to move forward with you, you could be married to someone else. Very distinct energies. Maybe the two of you were involved in the past and now both of you are married to other individuals and, you know, a lot of reflection has been done. You know, it's pretty difficult to be in that type of situation where people get angry with one another and then break it off and then move on with their lives. And then they realize after they got married to another individual that they still have feelings and love for the previous person. It can be very devastating. It does happen that way sometimes. So in terms of the next cards, I'm picking up that they would like for you to know that they're thinking about the future. They're thinking about you as well being a part of that future. Because I'm looking at a tarot card that's actually a court card and it resonates with your energy. So they're thinking about their future with you in the long term sense. And that's, that's incredible. So I'm going to be exploring the balance of these tarot cards on the Elite Tarot Society as well as the single extended reading. I'm going to be clarifying, re-clarifying and checking again and providing you with as much information as possible. You can find the links in the description box below. If you want a person reading, you can get it at the tarotempress.com. Have a wonderful day and take care.